Good morning and happy new year from JRS Kick One. Um, today I was just going to do a quick video of a little bit of everything to put as my trailer video up at the beginning of my uh, channel. And so if you're watching, if you've watched all of mine, this is just going to be a quick, I'm not going to show everything. Um, but uh, uh, just kind of to help people get what I do. Um, I used to raise rabbits in South Arkansas. We lived in town. Um, in a neighborhood, and I raised rabbits and a couple hens. Uh, we've been blessed to be able to move to northern Arkansas, and I was able to, we were able to get four acres. And so on this four acres, I raised chickens, rabbits, and sheep mainly right now, uh, with a little bit of other stuff coming through the gates every once in a while, as you can ask the people that have watched my videos. Um, they... Uh, my purpose for this is to uh, raise my own meat on a scale, plus learning different stuff um, as I do that. My breeds of choice for rabbits are mini rexes and pedigreed red New Zealands, um, with a couple mixed breeds in there uh, for meat or for pets. Uh, sheep, I like Katahdins and Dorpers. Uh, started out with Katahdins, actually I started out with boar goats. and. Um, Fell in love with the uh, sheep, and so I've switched to sheep, hair sheep, Katahdins and Dorpers. Um, started out with Katahdins, and Dorpers have kind of won me over too, uh, just because they have more meat on their carcass. Once again, this is all dual purpose for selling or for eating myself. Um, this is a litter of uh, pedigreed red New Zealands. This is a litter of cross stuff, um, litter of crosses. Um, here's a mini rex little litter. I'm not going to show all the babies today. These are younger. Um, here's my buck, my tribe mini rex buck, Gus Gus, named after my first tribe mini rex. If you watch my old videos, um, chickens, they are in here now and they're mad at me because I didn't let them out this morning because I wanted y'all to see them. As are I now, I have 13 hens or 14 hens and a couple young pullets. Um, something I just learned recently is uh, not to raise chicks in the fall. Uh, I bought 60 of these right here. Um, when the fall hatchery was over, you know, they had too many. Um, and whereas the spring batch did really good, the fall batch, it just didn't do good. They weren't... Um, hey, chick, chick, chicks, let me open it for you. They weren't... Uh, they haven't grown off good. They've been sickly because of the cold weather. Um... And so I learned to do babies in the spring, but it's not worth it in the fall. Chick, chick, chick. All right, y'all can go. Chick, 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 chick. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, quit. That's my game hen. She's the meanest little thing, but she's a good mama. Chick, 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 chick. These are the best leg air, egg layers right now, these red ones. This is only one that, uh, this is the, uh, the Red Ranger, it's a meat breed. Uh, my rooster right now, I lost my last one, my rooster right now is a black sex link. And so I think that would be a, a good twist on them. All right, let's go outside. More rabbits in here. Like I said, this is kind of weird because I know a lot of people have watched my videos, but this is for people that haven't watched my videos. All righty, some of the, some of the, Summertime rabbit cages, and then we have the sheep. I know y'all are hungry. I'll feed y'all in a minute. Oh, right now, I have 20 head of ewes. See, the chickens can come out on the back of the barn right there. 20 head of ewes, uh, about eight babies right now. Um, this was a double, lost his little brother. He is growing like a monster. I'll probably keep him. Um, here's my white dorper ram that I have right now. He's a 10-month-old Dorper Ram, um, and he's really nice. Has a good good uh, meat on him. My last Rams just didn't have that meat. Uh, here's a U. Most of these are young U's. Uh, she's one. Uh, she's older. She's about to have babies. All right, there's a young U. But just want to show you, we had a dusting of snow last night, and it is cold. This is a one-eared Barbado U. I doubt I'll be keeping her. Uh, I got her in a trade, and uh, she's done really good. Here's my property. It goes around the fence. Um, you can see 
out to right there and goes around. Um, have really enjoyed this four acres, have done a lot with it and have a lot of plans in the future. I was going to show you this and it's pre-set. I got this in trade from a person that wanted the poles off of it. It's an old uh, building uh, where you put a tarp over the top and he needed the poles for something else. So I traded him about $50 worth of merchandise and chickens and some other stuff for this. And it's going to make one humdinger of a uh, chick grower next year. This half here will have 10 across it. That half there will have six foot chain link fence across it. And so after the chicks are old enough to come out of the barn, I'm going to put them in here and the kids can pull them around the pasture and then get green grass. I'm excited to get that project going. Um, water tanks didn't freeze. It got cold last night and it's supposed to get cold the next couple days. We're supposed to have some negative degree weather, which is crazy for Northern Arkansas. Um, but here's the place. Well, it seems like a mess right now, but uh, working it out and figuring stuff out as I go um, and letting y'all know <laughs> the, the mistakes I make and the good stuff I don't make a mistake on. Um, this is a chicken coop. It's just too cold right now for them to be out here, but in the summertime, this is where my laying hens will be. It's a mess. I got to go in there and clean it out because I had the chicks in here at the beginning of the winter. Uh, to see if they'd make it out here and they just they made it but it was just too miserable for them here's a side pin right here i don't have anything in it right now they, they can go in there but they don't choose to um has a little shed in there and this next spring will be the garden half of this will be the garden the garden's going to go from about those trees right there to that tree long ways i'm hoping to have about 15 rows that long uh I'm more, I love animals more than gardening, but my wife wants more vegetables and we need more vegetables. So we're going to learn about gardening together too. Um, did a small one last year and really enjoyed it. Uh, dehydrated a lot of peppers, uh, canned some tomatoes, and uh, ate a bunch of fresh vegetables. So we're going to make a larger scale and do corn and potatoes and then all the regulars. Can y'all be quiet? Yeah, y'all are being loud. But that's JRS Kick, and that's the channel. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting lots of stuff. But um, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'd love for you to comment. If I don't get back with you, I'll try to. Uh, message me. I can't answer comments. I'm trying to fix it on my YouTube. But uh, YouTube's changing, and so they're making it where I have to redo everything to be able to see my new comments. It's making me really mad. My wife's going to look at it um, and see if she can fix it. But... Well, all righty, beautiful day of 14 degrees right now, and uh, I will let y'all go, and I'm going to go feed all the animals and get them not mad at me no more. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.